Kelsey. Good morning, San Diego. We are out on the patio with some wonderful friends this morning helping us stamp out hunger. That is what we are talking about. It is happening tomorrow, and we want to make sure that you can get involved. This is probably the easiest way to get involved in what is the nation's largest one-day food drive. So this is really cool. We have Ricardo Guzman, who is the president of the National Association of Letter Carriers here in San Diego, and we also have Casey Castillo, the interim CEO of the San Diego Food Bank. Gentlemen, good morning and thank you for being here. Good morning. morning. Thank you for having us. Ricardo, I'll start with you. Tell us about this, this event and the partnership between the Food Bank and the U.S. mail carriers. Well, this event is, this is the 30th annual food drive for the NELC. And we have a partnership with the San Diego Food Bank because what better way to provide those in need than for us to do what we do, which is deliver mail and pick up items, right? So all the customers have to do is put food by their mailbox, we'll pick it up, then we'll deliver it to the food bank, and then the food bank will distribute it to those in need. What a perfect partnership. I mean, we don't even have to leave the house. This is great, right? Absolutely. I mean, this, it doesn't get any easier than this. Casey, talk a little bit about some of the specific foods that we're looking for that really help because there is still such an enormous need right now. Absolutely. We're looking for non-perishable items, high-end protein. So you're, you're talking about canned uh, tuna, jars of peanut butter, canned vegetables and fruit, and soups and stews. And of course, right now with supply shortages, we're looking for baby baby formula as well. Okay, I have some. I'm going to do that. All right. Um, let's. How do we package it so that the mail carriers can take it? We try to make it easy. Put okay. it in a grocery bag a grocery and set bag. it right next to your mailbox, and mail carriers will pick it up and bring it to the, the food bank. Now, what if we have one of those community mailboxes where we don't have an individual mailbox, but we have one down the street? You could do the same thing. Okay. Yep, that works as well. So kind of know your times, so the food's not safe sitting out there maybe? Yeah, I mean, if they come early on Saturday morning, put it out Friday night, or, you know, if it's later in the afternoon, get out there a few hours before. Okay, and I know that you have an enthusiastic bunch working Absolutely. here in San Diego yeah. County that are just fantastic, and they're, they're gonna do everything they can to make this as smooth as possible, right? Yes, we want all of our letter carriers to fill up these vehicles <laughs> with food donated by the public. So we're asking for everyone to put out whatever they can donate non-perishable goods and our letter carriers will be able to pick it up fill up their trucks and then get it delivered to the food bank and this has been going on for 30 years how, how successful has this been in the past well we've cre we uh, here locally we collect just in san diego alone we collect over 500,000 pounds the last time unfortunately we haven't had a food drive in the last two years right. so but just locally we collect over 500,000 pounds and that food all the food stays here locally for those in need in our community, the communities that we deliver in. And this is every part of the county, right? This if you get if you get mail, you can take part. Nationwide, not just the <laughs> county. It's, right. This is nationwide. Everywhere throughout America, our letter carriers are picking up food on Saturday to provide for those that are in need. And Casey, really quickly, I'll just have you touch again on the the need because as we are seeing, you know, first it was the pandemic and some some of the financial impacts of that, but also inflation now. I mean, the numbers in the county that we're seeing is it still over half a million families we're we're feeding. You're exactly individuals? right. We are feeding over half a million. Uh, families and individuals uh, throughout the county. 40-year inflation highs, so the cost of everything's going up. Uh, food, rent, gas, utilities, so all of those are strains on, on families, and we want families to know we're here to help. Um, we get so excited about this uh, food drive every year, and of course, we, it's been paused for two years. We're, we're ready for that energy to be unleashed to do it again, and it couldn't come at a better time. The food bank typically sees uh, food donations drop off during the summer months, yeah. so this is perfect timing. Great. All right, really quickly, because we got to go, but I want to recognize all of you wonderful mail carriers. Your name and what area you work? David Hoffman, La Jolla, California. Fantastic. Melissa Guerrero, Sarah Mesa. Awesome. Barry King, Midway. Rocky Acasio, Sorrento Valley. Thank you all so much for what you do and for being here this morning and, and making our display look so lovely. We appreciate it. Mark, we're going to send it out to you. 